And I'm gonna make this wine again using that method next year in 2020, but without the dying part. <laughs> My name's Adam Penbethy and I'm one of the partners at City Winery Brisbane. City Winery started as this idea that we'd create a winery in the city in Brisbane. It's been 160 years in the making. The last time there was a winery in the city was in Doombin Racecourse. Consumer that comes here, you know, you step into a room filled with old barrels of wine that we've been meticulously looking after for the last, you know, 18 months or so that it's been in barrel. They step into a micro winery, so there's a couple of basket press and stainless steel tanks and so forth floating around. As you go through the space, you step into like a, a 20 person private dining room, which doubles as our cellar uh, for the building, and then a 60 seat restaurant in the rear of the property. Our culinary concept, if you like, is fire. Everything in this, on the menu touches fire in one way or another. So the guys have this four metre fire pit in the kitchen, which is roaring from Wednesday through Sunday, um, cooking the tasty meals that we produce here at City Winery. <laughs> My business partner, he's the winemaker. Um, Dave and I met at a wine show. They had the sign that said, we make wine in a shipping container just outside of Brisbane. And I remember reading the sign thinking, I need to know more about this guy and pushed my way to the front and said, mate, tell me everything. So we started bouncing around a couple of different ideas. It was their dream to create a winery here in the city. And uh, yeah, the time and the idea and the opportunity was just right. We, it just made sense to do something like this. What does wine mean to me? Well, gee, it's been my whole life for 20 something years now. And the fact that I don't get sick of it says a lot. One of the great parts about this project is that I can source fruit from all over the country and, and learn more about Australia's wine industry and wine regions and varieties by actually making wine from them rather than reading about it in a book. My favourite wine at the moment means a lot to me on many, many levels. 2017 McLaren Vale Grenache. I made this wine in a shipping container uh, out in the paddock at my parents' farm, the other side of Ipswich. We call this wine the death box. The label is a, uh, a shipping container with a, a cross on top. When you've got red fermenting, there's a lot of carbon dioxide being produced and that gets trapped in the skins and Last thing at night I went down to work on the red and this is a sealed box, right? So you open the door, you have to wait for all that gas to drain out. And then I went into the container to start working on the reds and this huge gust of wind came, slammed the door completely shut. I didn't have my phone, so I was stuck inside this box in the paddock with no help, surrounded by toxic gas. And uh, I thought that was the end of me. I really thought I was dead. Uh, so I panicked like crazy for a few minutes, yelled so hard I can still remember how much my throat hurt from screaming. And then I started to feel like numb in my face and my hands and I thought I'm actually gonna die. But shoulder charged the door, couldn't get it open. I ended up just out of desperation getting into this pot of wine and hanging onto the rim and kicking the door like hell, which eventually opened the door but it was a horrible experience that I'll never forget. But it makes a good label. Uh. Put that record on again, will you, May? Gee, that song does something to me. Kind of gives me a funny little pain. The food philosophy is simple, you know, we, everything we do is nose to tail and paddock to plate, you know, everything has a story, which is the thing I love about what the guys in the kitchen have created here, the team that we've assembled, um, led by our executive chef, Travis Crane. Um, e everything comes from people that we know, so the sheep and the, the lamb comes from an organic producer, farmer, uh, 45 k's west of Stanthorpe. The farriers, um, they bring it in, we do all the butchery in-house, in the same thing with the, 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 the beef. Same thing with the pork. Um, and then all the same with the vegetables as well. You know, Peter and Judith are our growers down in Stanthorpe. They grow the majority of the produce. And I think, you know, the stories of what we're creating in this place is amazing. You know, it, it's the same thing with the wine, you know. 
the guys that grow the grapes are the people that we believe are our heroes. You know, they're, they're the ones that are doing it tough out in the, and tending for these vines that produce great grapes that we can turn into really good wines. The same thing goes for the produce that we serve in the kitchen. Um, everything has a story and everything has a, has, a, has a place. For me personally, being part of this food community in Brisbane, I think to me it's like a, um, it's an evolution, I guess. You know, it's, uh, it, it's just an exciting journey to be in. Brisbane is pumping. Brisbane's better experienced than explained and that makes total sense you know it's the consumer coming down here from interstate and having an amazing experience whether it be at a microbrewery whether it be at city winery whether it be at one of the many fine dining restaurants or, or restaurants in general in the city you know it's, a, it's an exciting place to be in right now if you haven't been to city winery already um, book into a winery tour uh, be led through the space with one of the guys, taste some wine from the barrel, see how we cook, see how we produce, prepare meals and so forth in this place and, um, and yeah, see for yourself what we're trying to create here in Brisbane. Cheers. Cheers bye.